This video is an introduction to the concept of energy stores. It will be accompanied by a series of videos which detail each energy store. So let's start by looking at some key facts that we need to know about energy. Firstly, when we talk about energy, we talk about the energy of a system. Now a system is an object or a group of objects being studied. So that could be a mass on a spring or a car driving down the road, or a battery and a bulb connected in a circuit. These are all systems because they are objects or groups of objects. Next, energy can never be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one energy store into another. So for instance, in an object, energy might be transferred from the kinetic store into the thermal store, such as when a car slows down and applies the brakes, and the brakes heat up or it could be from the thermal store of one object to the thermal store of another object. For instance, a hot cup of tea cooling down. The energy in the thermal store of the tea will be transferred into the energy in the thermal store of the room. Next, energy is measured in joules, which we annotate with a capital J, so every time you quote a number to do with energy, you need to follow it with a capital J. And finally, there are eight energy stores. The energy stores are kinetic store, gravitational potential store, nuclear potential store, electrostatic potential store, magnetic potential store, thermal or internal store, chemical potential store, and elastic potential store.